Welcome back to Grand Adventure. I'm your host, Mark Guido, and more than anything else, we get asked about how we use a drone to get great aerial footage. And for RVers, travelers, and other outdoor enthusiasts, it's a wonderful tool for documenting your own Grand Adventures. Now, today's drones aren't toys. They're actually an extremely sophisticated flying camera. So we're presenting an episode to share how we use a drone to get terrific photos and video of our travels. Stay tuned. Now, we're often asked about which drone we use in filming Grand Adventure. This is our DJI Mavic Pro. No one else in the consumer drone market comes close to DJI for both technologically advanced hardware and cutting edge firmware. So we rely on DJI for our aerial footage. Now, this is the entire package. When you're ready to fly, you simply unfold the arms to prepare the drone for flight. DJI's Mavic series has a longer battery life and longer operating range than their lower price Spark and also handles stronger winds more effectively. The Mavic folds into this brick sized package so it's also more portable than DJI's larger Phantom series. When the arms are folded you can easily stow this in a backpack or even a jacket pocket. The Mavic series has a built-in 4K camera mounted on a motorized three-axis gimbal. Just like on a news helicopter, this keeps the camera steady, even though the drone may be bouncing all over the place in the wind. Notice how the lens remains stationary as I maneuver the drone around in my hand. Our Mavic Pro has an operating range of seven kilometers, which is around 4.3 miles. Uh, it has a maximum ceiling of 5,000 meters, which is over 16,000 feet. Uh, battery life is around 27 minutes, in optimal flying conditions. You can now find a Mavic Pro for well under $1,000, for this is the first generation of the Mavic. And while the new Mavic Pro 2 offers a few extra minutes of flying time, and one model of that drone offers optical zoom, there's really not that much difference between the first and second generations of the DJI Mavic. It's important, of course, to know where you can fly and where you can't. It's widely known that U.S. national parks are off limits, so too, some private entities have forbidden flying from their land. However, only the FAA has the authority to regulate airspace in the United States. So you can legally even film in national parks if you launch from and land on unregulated land outside of the national parks. You also face special requirements if you fly within five miles of any airport. And that's where the FAA's Before You Fly app comes in. Before You Fly lets you instantly see special regulations applicable to where you're standing, or it even lets you plan in advance via its mapping interface. In the outer perimeters of that five mile zone surrounding an airport, you merely need to notify the control tower of your flight plan. While this may sound like a lot to deal with, it's really not. Uh, in most situations, we RVers are camping outside of any restricted areas. If we're boondocking on national forest or BLM land, we face no special restrictions, and we're most likely a long way from the nearest airport. This small remote is how you control the drone. It's designed to use your smartphone to display what the drone's camera sees or show you a map of where the drone presently is and how to get it back to where you are. While the controller is designed to put your smartphone here, we much prefer using this uh, special mount, phone mount from Polar Pro that you simply snap on like this. That allows us to keep our phone in its case and mount it up here above the display. Let's also talk about the drone's capabilities. DJI's firmware allows the user to have the drone follow them, to focus on a subject while it flies around, 
or even fly pre-programmed sequences meant to capture that special moment, like we did by focusing on this group of mountain biking friends. The Mavic Pro is ridiculously intelligent with a 24-core CPU controlling everything. Let's head up into northern Utah's fabulous Wasatch Mountains to show you how easy it is to fly this thing. Now, should the communication with the drone be lost by the controller, the drone will simply fly back to where it took off from and actually land on its own. We have two batteries and this aftermarket charger that charges both batteries simultaneously. This way, we have plenty of flight time to gather all of the still photos and video footage that we'll need. We use this drone backpack from Polar Pro to keep all of our gear together. Now we're proud to say that we've never yet crashed our Mavic. DJI's drones are GPS controlled, so if you just let go of the sticks, the drone simply hovers in place. Collision avoidance sensors point forward and down, allowing the drone to avoid obstacles all on its own. It's nearly brainless. However, in case of a mishap, you can insure the drone via a standalone personal articles floater policy offered in the US by State Farm which covers drones and other computer and camera gear for $60 per year for up to $5,000 worth of scheduled property. And that coverage is all risk, even against crash damage, zero deductible and full replacement cost. We not only insure our drone that way, but we also have all of our camera gear, laptops, and other tech insured through this inexpensive State Farm policy. We'll link to the policy info below in the video description if that's something you're interested in. So we hope this answers any questions you may have about using a drone to document your adventures. If you still have questions though, hit us up in the comment section below this video and we'll do our best to help you out. Also down below in the video description, we have Amazon affiliate links to everything we've shown you today. And while you won't pay any more to use those links while shopping, Amazon pays Grand Adventure a small commission on each purchase, which helps us maintain the channel. We love the unique footage that only a drone can provide. We're getting ready for the new camping season upcoming, but we still have new episodes of Grand Adventure to share with you each and every Wednesday. We'd love for you to share our channel with your friends and family. If you're not yet one of our Grand Adventurers, hit that subscribe button down in the bottom right corner of this video right now. We've been positively inundated with new subscribers over the past month, and we're truly thrilled to have each and every one of you along for the ride. Ring that notification bell and give us a thumbs up if you like this video. And until next time, please remember, life is nothing but a grand adventure. We'll see you next week.